my friends. Sorry I'm a little bit late today. I've been having some technical challenges trying to set everything up. Um, today we're going to be doing a felt board story. So I'm Allie from the Naples Library and I'm here to deliver your story time snippet of the week. This week's summer program um, subject is princesses, castles, and princes. So I thought that I would do a little folk tale that is pretty well known, but maybe you guys don't know it yet, um, in my own words, on a felt board. So we'll see how this goes because it's a little bit different than I normally do. I might mess up a few times, but that's okay. All right, this story is called The Princess and the Pea. Do you guys know anything about that story? It's a pretty cool story. Okay, so I'm going to try this out. Here we go. There once was a very, very handsome prince. This handsome prince was looking all over the land for a princess. But this handsome prince was a very picky prince. And the princess that he desired had to be very very sensitive. After all, princesses are very, very sensitive. And that's one way to tell whether someone is a princess. So, he made some calls, and from all around the kingdom, several women visited him. The first woman visited, Oh, hello, handsome prince. How are you today? I would love to be your, uh, queen someday, she said. She was googly-eyed over him. Do you see that she has googly eyes? <laughs> but she was not sensitive enough for the prince. Next princess, please, said the prince. And she shame and walked away. The second princess came to call. Oh, prince, oh, handsome prince, she said, also googly-eyed. Oh, I would love to marry you and be your queen someday, she says. You are not the likes of the princess that I'm looking for, said the prince. Next, princess. Oh, oh, she lamented and ran away. After a while, the prince ran out of princesses to call upon. After all, princesses are not very common. They're princesses. Here, I'll scoot this a little closer so we can see a little better. They're not very common. They're princesses. So he went to bed that night a little bit hopeless. There, he went to bed. And that evening... A big thunderstorm came. Smash, crash, it rained all over the place. The castle was starting to flood. The streets were all flooded. The animals were going crazy. It was a very intense night. And then all of a sudden, there was a big knock on the palace doors. The prince ran to the doors to figure out who was knocking at such an hour in such a storm? He opened the door to the most beautiful woman he had ever seen in his life. This woman had beautiful green eyes and beautiful dark hair and dark skin. She was soaking wet from head to toe and she was not wearing a crown. She says to the prince, I am a princess and I have come to be your wife. The prince was very impressed that a woman might travel in the middle of this type of weather just to find him. And he was softened just a little bit. This is when the queen walked in. She's pretty cool. The queen walked in and says, Are you a princess? Are you fit to ma marry my boy? 
she says, yes, of course I'm a princess. I'm just from a very far away land. I traveled night and day to come here to marry your prince. We will see about that, says the queen and walks away. Guards, fetch her a mattress to lay on this evening. We will provide her for some shelter, the queen said. Very relieved, the princess in all of her wet clothes was to have a space to sleep that evening. The queen ordered the bed to be made. And as a test to see whether the princess was really a princess, she decided to put a pea on the mattress, like the vegetable, a tiny little pea went on the mattress. And then she decided to pile 20 mattresses on top of that mattress. And she knew that if the princess was really the princess she said she was, she would feel the pea at the very bottom. And so the princess went to bed, way up on top of all of these mattresses. Have a good night, dear, says the queen, and walks away to go to bed. The next morning, the princess rises. Oh, man. Oh, she says she's got a little bit of a crick in her back. She walks down to breakfast with the queen and the prince. And the queen asks the princess, My dear, how did you sleep last night? We got all of the mattresses from the whole castle and put them in your room so you'd be comfortable, she says. The princess says, I barely slept at all. Something was in that mattress at the very, very bottom, and I couldn't find it, but it really, I've got a crick in my back right now. I am not very well rested. The queen was delighted in her response. Oh, my dear, the answer is that I put a pea underneath the bottom mattress so as to test you and your sensitivity. Only princesses are that sensitive says the queen. Oh, goodness, I told you I was a princess and you did not believe me, she said. Well, you are now fit to marry my son. Congratulations. And so the son, the prince, was very excited at this proposal and decided that he could not wait any longer and they had to marry that day. And so... The ceremony was performed. The princess now looked like a princess in her marital gown. And I don't know where I put it. Sorry about that, guys. I forgot her crown, which is so important. And they all lived happily ever after. The end. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, guys. So thank you for coming to my first felt board story. I'm sorry if it was a little dimly lit. I tried really hard to make it not that way, but we have difficulties sometimes, and that's okay. So I hope that you really enjoyed our princess story today. And I have a bunch of really cool castle and princess stories to share with you on Friday. So I hope to see you at the regular story time then. Okay, everybody, have a great rest of your week. Bye-bye.